once more into the scary pipe. Would any more torsos like to invent <laughs> to introduce themselves? You can definitely hop off there. But does this also go there? It does. And there's the flashing hallway. So like that relates in some way to what's going on with that shortcut. It just is the shortcut? Weird. Hi! Uh oh. I made a mistake. Uh oh. <laughs> that could have gotten much worse, but I have in fact played a Dark Souls game before. Really? Really? I'm so fucking bad at these games. <laughs> it's just like, why can't I land a single at one of these moves? And I'm burning to death. God damn it, that was so early. I could just keep poking and running, but it just... I feel like I should try to correctly... do the parry system and everything. I'm always caught off guard by how bad I am at it. I'm just like, this just feels so straightforward. Why am I struggling? Ha! Ah! So we're outside. Oh, there's someone in there. No, thank you. Okay, there are more enemies around, and this game gives this area gives you corruption. It seems to indeed be enough of a thing that I should put it off until after I get my stuff back. It just briefly looked like it might not ha be that involved. So that connects back to this. Right, so yeah, if I go back this way, it'll lead me to the shortcut that I opened. I just kind of forgot what this transition area, area looked like because I brain off, just keep running. I guess this does mean I'm technically using the shortcut that I said was pointless. Although I could have warped back to the other one. Then you would have to run past the big guy that's on your way there.
Ow. They are just walking around up there. That's eerie. I thank thee for the bonus XP and whatnot. Anyway, bye. Right, I opened this shortcut up, and I didn't use it. Granted, it would help if I knew where it was. Where was this? It's here. Let's not kill the NPCs on accident. Wow, good combo, you got me. <laughs> God damn it. I was doing well, too. Did I not land? Did I land my attack? And then I missed it. No! Camera's rough here. There we go. Wait, where do I go? Where do you go? I didn't see a red spot. God damn it. Remember when I complimented this game for having, like... Visceral attacks that make more sense so you don't fuck them up, and then, but now I'm learning that you, you totally fucking can. Because, like, what? How do you do some of these? It means that their weapon broke? That's funny. I did not remember where the shortcut actually was. It's my chance to get rid of the poison. Sounds like it might have been. So yeah, it was just like a turn right there. So not a huge shortcut. Okay, yep, as I figured, the poison can be removed. It seemed a bit unreasonable. Just a bit much. Best of luck to you, my friend. <laughs> Take care, you don't get torched. Back to what we were doing. Have I been here? Ah, yes. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm just not sure what I was supposed to do differently. Uh, to get that visceral attack to launch. I didn't see, like, a red sp- Ha 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 ha! I didn't see, like, a red spot on the ground. The icon lit up, so I thought that meant that I was already in the position. definitely for how hard you have to work to get those states to trigger it's definitely a bummer if you then can't execute on it oop sneaky ladder all puppets must die oh it's the only way to be sure Friend. All puppets must die. Every single one. 
I, I hear the sound of springs inside you. You're a puppet too. You can't fool me. <sighs> All puppets must die. Kill the puppets. Oh, that friend. Oh. I can't tell what's blood and what's oil. You can't tell blood from oil? Are you a puppet and not know it? Just kept going, huh? I wish I hadn't run away. Wow, it's an inf infinity combo. Wait, I'm stuck. Do you not have combat str combo strings that end? Jesus. I just don't know why parrying gets so hard. It's just so straightforward, right? Here comes the attack. Parry the attack. Nope. 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 <laughs> then I die. Alright, I don't actually have a good mental map of how to get out of this area. To go back to outside, I say as I walk directly there, apparently. Oh, but I'm here. I guess I can go there. Especially with the the, the poison gun. Okay, I've opened a bunch of connections, but I just don't have a good mental map at, at all of how to get where I was. Uh, from the inside, like, efficiently? I can get there eventually like this, but this seems like... I'm almost certainly forgetting a much shorter route. So many star fragments, what will I do with these? Alright, hopefully I learn this guy's timing better. Oh god. God damn, man. him
Damn it. Not a single one. I do think I'm kind of disintegrating his sword. Okay, we got there. I'm sorry, dear. Uh, I was afraid to die. <laughs> he was unwell. He is not well now, but he is un-unwell. Oh, it's the conspicuous door that would definitely open. It opened. <laughs> I guess that's the payoff of that. I'm like, this door clearly opens, but it doesn't even... It, it's strangely... I guess what's, what's strange about it is that you, could, you couldn't interact with it, so there was no, it does not open from this side. Doctor's Confessions. My name is Clark Shore. People call me Dr. Curall. I intend to confess my sins. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a cure-all. At first, even I was sure about my experiment. Early on, the cure really was effective in neutralizing the petrification disease. And why would the great alchemist's records prove be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect. But what went wrong? I dare not record what the ones who got treatment turned into. That was literally hell. And when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the doors, I ran away. How can I atone for my sin? I only tried to get patients, to treat patients and earn a few extra coins. I'm dying, and this is my peni penitence. I also have the petrification disease, and I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone and freeze to death. God, please forgive my terrible sins. Hmm. There's an item waiting there. So surprisingly, Mr. Curall wasn't a charlatan that was lying to everyone. It was a thing that genuinely did seem to fix the disease, but then it brought on new problems. So he wasn't, a, he, it wasn't a, a cure to, to believe in, but he did. Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press news this, more, this month again. This month's eccentric is Mr. J, a gentleman who caused a stir by marrying a puppet. It is because the custom made puppet is, is it because the custom made puppet is so beautifully made? Or that Mr. J's peculiarities even he was unaware of suddenly, or that Mr. J's peculiarities, even he was unaware of, suddenly burst. That's an awkward sentence with no punctuation to parse what they're going for at first. Mr. J fell in love with the maid puppet at first sight, and they got married, even in the face of his family's opposition. But the lover's secret wedding faced ruin. The enraged family stormed in. The husband was confused. The puppet bride was greatly damaged. She clearly had a soul. We loved each other. Gentleman Jay, who became his father, his family's headache, still makes the same claims. He's even fixing his bride and redoing the wedding. This tragedy was made all, was all made possible because of Kratz's advanced puppet technology. Let's all listen to our families now. <laughs> the Have You Seen This Eccentric Corner will continue next month. Everybody, point and laugh at this weirdo. The series. It's kind of fucked up. I always hate, like, YouTube channels that are like that. Where every video is just a close-up image of some person's face that, you know, was not... Did not volunteer to be that person's... That, the video, that video's subject. 
And it's always about, like, this person's a weird piece of cringe, weird, fucked up weirdo. Look how they're weird, how weird they are. Here's years of history about this person. That's not a no that's a normal thing to do. I'm just gonna chronicle this person's life for the public against their will. And we're all gonna pretend this is normal behavior. And then a somewhat different flavor. I don't like the... I don't, I don't, I don't much like... Downfall of this person YouTube videos. Like that, there. In those cases, you are talking about a, a public-ish person. That's rather disloyal. Quite insulting. Because they either are or were a YouTuber and whatnot. Warning: Beware when handling corrosive chemicals. Be careful not to melt your fingers. But like, while they may be a public person, it just feels. I don't like that. It's like it's it's drama content. It just seems kind of shitty. How? God damn it, it's that one delays so much more. I just went right into that. Oopsie. God damn it! Light up, light up. There it is. I need you to die now. Okay. Whew. Oh, I unlocked a heal at some point, I think. Right, because the usually the visceral attack unlocks a heal. Or at least that one thing hinted at the idea that it happens. This guy's lucky the puppets don't seem to care about his voice. He's announcing his location a lot. <laughs> I know it's for my benefit as the player, but I'm like, there's a lot of guys around that I think would notice you. Contextually. Alright, so I'm making progress. That was a much better attempt at w fighting one of those guys. Ooh. That's a little sequence. Oh. Okay. That's a good find. Cool. Now I can stop trying to think about how everything else connects to each other because we have a, we have another war point now. Oh, easy now. No need to kill me. Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people. Hold on. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? I, I'm, I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler Pulcinella. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Or will they be a boss Before fight? Before <laughs> all this... Uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please, you must stop him before he does any more harm. Before all this, uh, I'm told, how did... Alright, so we have stuff to investigate around here, but also, this is a very good Stargazer spot to have. So I can go fight the boss. It's just right down there. 
This is a good spot to find. He's continuing to wander a bit. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How may I be of service? I don't know if he ever says more. Oh, dialogue. The stalkers are Kratz vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Welcome to... I've largely not used any of these items yet. Oh! Well, I should get those. That's a hefty cost. But, uh, yeah. If they're just gonna sell skill points, I should probably grab those. Well, I'm not gonna get as many levels as I thought I was going to this time. I was looking at more souls than ever before. I'm like, this, I'm sorry, ergo. I was gonna spend this giant pile of ergo on levels, but... They're selling quartz. I think I have one or two to spend, too. So we did that one. More Fable wouldn't hurt. Ah, this is very annoying. Okay, so if you press D-pad directions, it goes to the next thing in that direction. And you can't reasonably go up here really it's like it look it's just as likely to skip all the way up here somehow and if I hit right it goes Vroom. but like as you can see here you have to play like a weird like it's like you have to start playing like an a sliding ice tile puzzle just to get where you want to go the joystick kind of works but it's also like a weird mix of sticky and jumpy I don't know this is a strange screen enables another dodge in the middle of dodging motion increases the Stagger status. It seems like that might come in handy when you're trying to learn new enemies, basically. Here. This is basically a panic dodge opportunity. I might as well, as well, might as well try to grab this, I guess. So getting all the ones in one category in here will also unlock the next category of that type of thing, too, I guess, is the idea. Enhanced Fatal Attack Pulse Cell Charge. Yeah, I would like that to reward me with more healing. That's good. I think I want that one. How many quartz? I have two more. Fable Enhance the attack of Fatal Attacks and Fable Arts. If I'm gonna earn a Fatal Attack, I want it to do damage. So let's make, let's make fatal attacks as good as possible because if I'm putting in the work to earn one, I want it to be really good. One more heal. Okay, so so you get you get two of them and then you get the next tier. Now we know how much it was. I was worried because the little, I thought the little circle was a progress bar. So when it was only one third of the way, I thought I had to get three of them. But I guess you just fill in two dots. It'd be handy if those dots were visible in advance so you could tell your progress because them just having one dot show up one third of the way definitely implies that you've you filled the bar up one third and you have to get three of the four skills okay so now we have retain guard regain upon pulse cell use so if you block attacks you have that part of your health you can recover with attacks and if you then heal you still keep that part of your meter and can still recover that via attacks that's nice Ooh, an additional amulet slot is pretty good. I don't have an amulet to put there, but maybe I will. <laughs> I, sh I should eventually. 
Retains a certain amount of guard regen when receiving damage. And then, of course, another pulse cell. It's hard to beat just getting another person pulse cell, admittedly. That's just a whole extra heal. Oh, we got the next row of these. Oh, we got row two just across the board. Okay, so the so the row two in here. Interesting. I'm just kind of fumbling through this progression system because it's just it's kind of confusing. So you unlock row two for these at the same time that you unlock section two on that other screen. That, there's a simplicity to that that makes some sense, but given that you're given a screen and you're checking off the ones you've gotten so far here, you would think that you'd get like X number of these to unlock the next row, and it would just use the same system that the other screen has, but not literally the same system as in like not being based on that screen. I definitely thought that getting item, like get X number of item types to get the next item type and so on was how it worked. Granted, I then have picked one from each menu, so I'm not doing great at that goal, so it benefits me that it works this way, but... <laughs> All right, so what's row two like? Enhances weapon attack when weapon durability is at maximum, so one time, <laughs> one hit. Enhances weapon attack when pulse charges are discharged, so you get stronger when you're out of heals. It's a little, a little last minute help basically to to be able to recover. Between that and uh, your. Fatal attack giving you health, uh, a healing item. It's like a comeback mechanic. Enhance a stagger attack of dodge attacks and dash attacks. So, so you do, yeah. So you do just you you build the enemy's stagger meter by dodging into them. Apparently, I did st make that guy stumble that one time, but I, I guess that means it affects their stagger meter. Increases destruction damage to enemies with a perfect guard is successful. I don't know what destruction damage is. Is destruction damage the damage that happens to their st stagger damage? Why wouldn't they call it stagger then, though? What's, dis what's destruction damage? Let's see. Lies of P destruction damage. That auto completed. What is destruction damage? Let's go Reddit. Destruction is stagger damage. Okay. It is that. Why wouldn't they just call it stagger damage? <laughs> That's just why why do they just make this why is this game so fucking confusing for no good reason? There's just so many made up words that you can and then the no explanation of what the words mean and you have to ask Reddit. Like that's not a good solution. And it, it's just it's so un I don't understand. I'm like You have stagger. What is the stagger attack of dodge attacks, but destruction damage is something else? Like what? I don't... Isn't it called stagger when you... I don't... I don't know. Stagger duration. Is stagger duration how long they get... They get wobbly from you hitting them heavy enough at all at once? Or is it the white meter? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm honestly not sure if I knew what anything ever meant. Enhances the recovery effect of pulse cells. Well, I guess I have to get that one. <laughs> Lowers the guard regain dis reduction. Lowers the damage received during charge attack and when using Fable Arts. Enhances resistance to attribute ail uh, status ailments. Lowers the legion consumption of, of legion arms when HP is low. Reduces stamina consumed to dash. Lowers the weapon durability reduction of dodge attacks and dash attacks. Lowers weapon durability consumption for ambush attacks. I guess you can dodge and attack to do a dodge attack, is what they mean. They say both consumption and reduction with almost the same phrasing. It's just there's some odd stuff going on there. Lowers the stamina consumption of all actions when pulse cells are discharged. Ah, another comeback mechanic. Increases the effect duration of consumables with prolonged effects. Increases the effect duration of special grindstones. Lowers the ergo loss from hits when there is air death ergo to recover. Enhances the effect of fable catalysts. Fable catalysts. Hmm. 
Either way, obviously, I'm going to make my, my healing item stronger. That's a no-brainer at the moment. I don't know if it takes effect now or only when I finish filling that one in, but... Don't know what to do with this shape thing. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. All right. So we got some quartz upgrades, that's good. What else do I have that's new? So many star fragments. Oh, right, that's the summon thing, not an upgrade. I have five hidden moonstones. That might be enough for a weapon upgrade, unless I'm now on the next tier. I know my way around a weapon. Nope, I need a crescent moonstone now. So these are, so hidden moonstones are dead to me unless I want to use them for other upgrades. And yeah. Right. It felt intuitive, but no, the fire axe does not have a stronger motivity. Despite being like almost the definition of a strength weapon, being an axe that you that's designed for breaking down doors. So capacity is my ability to carry more weight, improving my my my. Dodge, I guess. I guess advance is your legion stat? Kind of. It increases my legion blitz effect. Yeah, maybe it's time to work my way towards 30. I'm gonna need... 800 more. Oh, damn. We're up to 1,000s now, huh? I'll use my power. Oops, how much was it? 2213, so I need 22,000. 10. Or one, one, I guess. Yeah. So, 13, 15. So, not enough. So, that's going to be it for now. Now the question is whether or not I can take on a big bad. I know you have several problems for me to worry about, but that guy is a big scary health bar, so he has to die. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, it's only down there. I was like, wasn't I was like, wasn't there a ladder? But no, it only is a way you can only connect the two sides by going down here. There's no way to that platform from there. That guy over there, he's like, why do I hear boss music? <laughs> I'm gonna die.
I fought the Tower Knight before. You're not so tough if you don't have poison to make it hard to kill you in time. Where's his weak spot? There it is. No! Really? God damn it. That's so annoying. It's whatever because he's so easy he hasn't even hit me yet, but it's very annoying that I went right up to the red spot and it just didn't work. Man, if I knew he was going to be this easy, I might have taken him out while the poison was there. I didn't realize that he was so trapped with, with exclusively being able to do the most... Oh, God. Incredibly telegraphed attacks possible. No, I still didn't get to do it. Ah! Well, that's a boss down. <laughs> and another radiant ergo from... That's not what it's called. Another quartz for me. I th actually, I think I might have read the word at radiant ergo. That might have been what the item, other item was. But that's not what I care about. It's the, I care about the quartz. <laughs> I mean, you know, Radiant Air goes fine. All the air goes fine. I want to level. But Quartz is the big milestone thing. I'm like, <gasps> skill point! I hope I'm not forgetting entire paths. I feel like I've been most places. If that's not the case, then I've messed up. Oh, yeah. I need to go back to the second waypoint and check out the swamp. Before I forget about it. And then I'll continue forward with the third waypoint. I did forget about it for a minute. Might be forgetting something else, but I remember that one. So that's neat, I guess. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll even use an arm ability at some point. I'm so bad at slotting in new things into my moveset. I think I did eventually get good at using Sekiro tools, but it's partly because I was struggling with the game so hard that I was like... Please save me, weird gadgets. <laughs> I think I remember abusing like the fireworks or something. I don't know. One of my one of my main memories of Sekiro is is getting my ass beat by the weird demon monster thing that was the most Dark Soulsy of all the bosses, but still doing relatively better than a lot of people, and in part definitely using a lot of those abilities. All right, uh, I mean definitely this. I want to. I want my perfect guard. It's not, it's not my strength doing perfect guards and staggering people, but it definitely seems like the way that you reasonably fight some of these bosses, or it's at least the way I'm engaging with the game so far, and I'm trying to get good at that, so I want it to be rewarding. So I feel like I should at the very least grab the things that make me better at it. Or specifically, they may not make, make me better at it, but they make it more impactful when it happens, which includes making it so I don't have to do it as many times, potentially, to win. Give me a bit, a bit of a chance. I'll use my power to... I have two more levels. shoo ba ba boop boo doo 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 I need... 21, I believe. <sighs> yeah, that's a 2000. <laughs> I'll use my power. That was just an entire 21. Okay. Wow. Gotcha. 
or an entire 20. A 2,000. Let's <laughs> stop abbreviating in the weird way that I'm thinking about it and actually say the correct number. But I was very excited to see 2,000 in one spot. Damn, okay. That would have been the Radiant Ergo. So I guess that was... I didn't, I didn't register at the time that it was a new tier. Level ups are pretty frequent so far. Could be on some level a hint at how long the game is. I wonder. I don't know. I have no concept for how much game remains. How far I am. Come at me, spooky child. No, rude. Oh, God damn it! That's enough of you. Get some vivid ergo. Alrighty. There's another one down there. A lot of these guys are just not equipped to stand against me at the moment. Little girl, little girl. I guess she's not coming out. Uh, I want to stay out of the goop, but that means fighting him on a with my back to a wall, so the camera's going to freak out. Triple kill. Well, that went way better than it could have. Especially when I didn't really do the parries, but... I did enough stagger damage. Oh. Boher Bistu. Green, black, and blue like the colors of the sky. E -I -E -I -E -I. Ah! Pick it up. Butterfly bed. Butterfly bed. Dead. <laughs> Urgent repair. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Range of this weapon starting to screw me over by being too much. I don't know, I guess that was the entirety of this zone. I probably could have just committed to it last time I saw this place. It looked a little more involved than that. Dude, that was just a, another regular moonstone, right? So, like, I don't... I don't care, I don't think. Okay, thankfully, rolling in the muck does not make you con continue to build up muck for a while afterwards like it does in Souls games. Where the muck, like, gets on your character's body... Uh, character model and then start screwing over. Yeah, that was just a regular... regular moonstone, so at this point... at the moment, uh... a crimson butterfly is a bit disappointing. Because it just gives you the thing that I don't need anymore. Until I need to upgrade a different weapon. Which, at some point, maybe. Just gotta stock up. I think you need... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna check. <laughs> I think you need one for the first level, then maybe like, might be one, three, and five. I think it was only three levels worth. Is the big guy back? Probably. Anyway, this upstairs seems important, but I feel like I should with the scaffolding and it's all like Anolando, But I feel like I should check down here first. Big guy seems to be permanently dead. That's handy. Yeah, I don't want to skip down here and. Miss out on stuff that might be down here, even if it might dead end and want you to go upstairs. Cut! <laughs> well, I killed him. I guess that's a benefit of using that attack, but 
What is it? What it's actually? I'm not clear on its actual utility necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure why I would use the shock versus a melee. They're both done in melee range. The shock probably has less range than my melee attacks. Charging up takes more time. Maybe if I have reason to think somebody's vulnerable to shock, then I'm good. Is that another... Oh, that's a boss fight. Okay, we're going upstairs then. I saw blue and didn't know what it meant at first. But yeah, that's, that's what it means in this game when you see blue. Like that. That 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 little pool is not it's the it's the lack of particle effects. It's just a blue glow. When it's just a blue glow, that's when that's when you know it's not an item and it's not a stargazer. It is a summon a friend button. And you use the summon a friend buttons at boss fights. This has been Keith explains mechanics you already understood twenty minutes ago. Or or that's not that's too little time. Stuff you understood hours ago. Several episodes ago. A technique crank. Wow, check... <laughs> check out my cranking technique. Uh, you can watch my cranking technique for only 20 to 20 bucks a month. Descartes. Descartes note. 1890 blah 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 the public cannot refuse the grand covenant imprinted upon manufacture it must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans but look at that puppet that was once called Fue fueco is the grand covenant flawed the once faithful puppet now kills humans it creates puppets instead of fire it obeys something else other than humans it's as if someone is controlling it or it has a mind of its own as if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Is it pretending to be a human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Fueco's actions were not simple obedience, but faith. Fueco worships something as God. I heard there's the king of puppets on Rosa Isabel Street. That must be what's controlling the puppets of Krat. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem from another dimension. There is still a puppet's secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key, but those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late, for the sake of all humans. It's weird to leave the dot. If it's supposed to be like an alternate history or whatnot, why not just write down the year? It's weird, it's weird that the, the entries are dated. And then there was another date, but it said the same thing. 18 blah blah slash blah blah slash blah blah. And you're supposed to imply, oh, it's dated, that must mean it's a different day, but that's it. But I'm like, why not just actually create a timeline for your story? This month, this, this is taking place over these months and so on. Okay, okay. That's a mean thing to set up where you have to run and jump on such a narrow platform, given that it has it has Dark Souls jumping. Yeah, I don't know I don't know why I'm just actually right a month and so on. Well we we made those guys spawn. Sorry to ruin your surprise, guys. I go over here before I get in trouble. Okay. Eh. I've got too much reach for you guys to be problems. I love I just like spinning. When we're talking about the 500 things you were that where you'd compare these games with each other and so on. I do appreciate that in this game you can uh you can just pick what you want to look like separately from your gear. That's fun. Just want to check this place out before I tried the door cuz I want to go back up and get my heels back. 
But I figured I should grab any items I have, spend any souls I have, so I don't have to worry about them as much during the fight. It's also good to know there's no enemies in the room for me to worry about on my way in. I'm probably close enough that I can probably level yet again. But I also just want to replenish the damage I took from that little fight. I've got bad news, buddy. I don't think your butler's doing great. To the point where him not being the best company anymore seems to be public knowledge, so... I'm not sure how you don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he's just hoping against hope. Twenty-five thirty-two. This t these two would take me to twenty-five thirteen. So that's 200, I need the 300. I need to go a little overboard to make it. I'll use my power to help you. This is the, this is the stack that gives you more guard regain. I should probably get my vitality kept catching up. I got a little strength hungry. I splurged a little. <laughs> but now I need to make amends. 